lot of people they start businesses based on a dream and of course everything begins from the invisible but it's actually a scripture he's quoting that what builder builds a house without fast so if you're going to enter into any form of any building the first thing is called cost calculation do you understand that now secondly you you calculate that cost based on where you currently are like the unfortunate thing i've seen with young people we assume lifestyles by faith and i keep making this statement faith is not the absence of calculating you don't say you have faith now you you substitute faith from calculating in fact faith is very calculative think about it for god so loved the world love that he sent you see the calculating of his love he according to the measure of are you listening according to the measure of love he calculated in order for me to express this size of love i cannot send gabriel he cannot uh, express that weight i cannot send michael so in his calculation based on the weight of love that he wants to express is the person that he sent so guess what god did god sent himself because he had already calculated the measure of that love and so it's very important that you calculate where you are Sec thirdly that's why i'm saying i don't know if it's a question but i don't want to forget it and it's important let's say for example you have a job right and then all of a sudden you are beginning to notice deposits of your purpose this is the biggest mistake people make do not quit your job do you hear my statement don't quit your job let me explain how it works because purpose is eternal job is not god would rather you mess with a job than a purpose Do you understand? So guess which one comes first? Answer me. Which one comes first? Eh? Okay, but physically, which one came first? So God uses job to train you for purpose. Do you get what I'm saying? Like for example, would you believe me if I tell you I was a dog feeder? I know you won't. But guess what? When I was a dog feeder, I was preaching the gospel. When I finished preaching the gospel, I go back to washing dogs. It was from that that it's it's spearheaded my ministry. Just like she's saying, you can there is no need of substituting. It's from that job that purpose is found. And many people, well, like please, in case this is you, don't feel as if I'm attacking you but i must teach many people left their job and then they came to meet me and i always tell them i wish you'd have met me before you lost your job because i would have taught you balance now there is a difference between ministry and full-time ministry you will need to understand where you are have you been called into full-time ministry yes two when was david anointed to be king he was like 14, 15. Are you aware? Don't say yes because I will ask you where. But guess when he became a king? He was around 30 years. So the day you discover your purpose is not the day you walk out of your job. You use your job to build your purpose. Let's say from your job you're getting 30,000. You behave as if you're getting 20. So you take that 10 and, and pay purpose. Do you get what I'm saying? You are in IT. You need a laptop. You already have a job that's paying you 30000 right? That's a blessing. So you take, you behave as if you're being paid twenty. You stay in a bed sitter. And then you take that 10. You add it, add it, haba na haba. Haba na haba, hujaza kibaba. In fact, that's a scripture. And Kiswahili people cheated us. The Bible says a little and a little it's the bible it's not swahili so in job you learn how to bring little by little 
because let me tell you something i don't forget in purpose it pours so you learn the discipline of saving in that job because once you get to your purpose like for example when we finally it took me a lot to leave my job i've been a barberist is that a word the people that shave your hair the barberist huh? i've been a barber sorry um what else do you remember me i met her as a dog feeder then i became a driver for someone and um i had a car wash i was washing cars amen i was employed in a hotel to cook a uh, butchery i had a butchery employed there in nakata nyama so you see i knew that i was a pastor i li listen i knew i was a teacher those days when i used to do that ask her 13 years ago in those days or 12 ask her i would teach her i want to make a statement and please as pastor eric said you promise not to overthink no let's first agree because the way i'm seeing you it's like you are fond of memories do you promise do you promise yes. she would come to my bed sitter and i never touched her i used to give her books i never used to tell her i love you i love you from where love is this book read this book and if you can read five books then we can start our love journey if you cannot read five books you are wasting my time and i'm wasting your time we are going nowhere i gave her books before i married her i would give her books ministerial books trying to teach her to be a virtuous woman because i told her i don't want to be bothered in life so you need to be this woman you go where you are go and i i would feed her she's here she can tell you and when i was a driver i knew i was a preacher but I never less left driving. It was from that driving that I got a guitar. I bought a guitar. I remember it was 9,500. And don't ask which one. It was that one. Zibora provided it as some. And I would get from here. I will get from there. And I will power something. I will get from here. So by the time I left it all. It was clear. There was nothing to get from my job. Any more now my purpose can support me and now this is the thing all the things i learned from my job i'm sorry for taking your time because is this making sense to someone i'm hearing myself i know i am making this statement because it's the biggest problem we have in the church someone just sees an angel doing this in the dream and then the next day you are a doctor you just wake up you don't consult anyone you just quit your job and then you come at home and sit and say, Lord, here I am. Let me ask you a question. If you could not find time for God when you have your job, it will be even worse when you find your purpose. Because you become a superstar during your purpose. So you are always needed to preach. So it begins to reduce your time to pray. You won't pray. It is easier to find God when you're in your job. Because once you get to your purpose, if you are not ready, your purpose begins to push you to the limelight. So everyone wants you to preach. Everyone wants you to do all up. Everyone wants you to be this. Everyone wants you to be that. And before you know, you just become a preacher without God. So you have a big ministry and no God to, no God to show. Is this making sense? Use your job to build your... Are you hearing me? Use your job to build your... And in case you want to be spiritual, you are not the first one. The first thing God gave man is work, not woman. And the first man a woman met was a man working. So I've said both of them. The first thing God gave a man is work. And the first thing a woman met, the first man a woman met, was a man that was already working. And so you must understand how to use your job to build your work little here little there if you are a preacher buy a speaker next month little here little there buy a microphone 
little here then once you finally notice that it might not necessarily be the whole thing but at least you can see a little skeleton then once you you step out a bit you 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 just check the waters then you confirm with god god is it time for me to walk out when it's time how you will know, how you will know it's time everything supports your walking out everything supports it and i'm not talking about abundance like you can peace is the first support you have you have peace number two it's like marriage a lot of people make that mistake but if i say this you feel bad can i say it do you want to hear my advice do you want to hear my advice if you don't have a job and you don't have your work don't marry sister if the man is not working and the man has no job get the two difference don't marry that person because after three months you see that lady that loves you she will start pushing you to pay rent and because you don't have the balance you never took time to build your your work and you don't have a job so why would you marry children are responsibility do you know how much a diaper cost that's my advice so a serious man finds what to do before who to help him do it <laughs> that's how you know a serious man he finds what to do before who helps him do it and so i would advise you young people please do not over spiritualize ministry god is still going you can still serve god as a doctor and if from that he will need a full-time minister it will be clear but don't stop going to campus and because you want to go to the mountain and pray 24 hours for miracles i've seen so many people make that mistake don't do it while the teacher is teaching in your heart listen to the teacher and be crying and say lord give me a place to use my education don't quit until god tells you quit have i balanced that statement and use your job to build your your work